The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. On this special episode of Life Today. What I saw for me was gut-wrenching. Stuff I have never experienced seeing on any trip I've ever taken with Life Outreach, and I've taken many. Uh, this one impacted me deeply. It's embedded in my heart for many, many years to come, and it was really, really hard. Uh, I know that we will show some, some pieces today of some moments that, that we were in, um, but I'm hopeful. Even in this show today, I feel hope. Next on Life Today. Sorry. You all right? Yeah. It's tough. Welcome to Life Today, a very special episode of Life Today because you're going to see some things that are critically important. And they're important that we, as, as believers, do something about it right now, mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. There is a situation going on uh, in the nation of Ethiopia. And, and we have been working there in the Eastern Africa region for many years, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, uh, and then down the coast there. But we have come upon some things that we want to show you today mm -hmm. because the situation is urgent and you can do something about it. And Tammy, you you were just there. Yes. What did you see? Randy, I don't even know if, if I could even answer that in a quick minute. What I saw for me was gut-wrenching, mm. stuff I have never experienced seeing on any trip I've ever taken with Life Outreach, mm. and I've taken many. Uh, this one impacted me deeply. It's embedded in my heart for many, many years to come, and it was really, really hard. Uh, I know that we will show some some pieces today of some moments that that we were in, um, but I'm hopeful. Even in this show today, I feel hope. Sorry. You all right? Yeah. It's tough. And you, you know, that's it is tough. It would be really hard to do this, to go places like we go and see the things we see. If we didn't know we could come right back here and show you some pictures and you would do something about it. Watch this, and then we'll tell you how we can change this situation. So, Tim, we're coming into this village. I mean, I've, I've actually never been to this village before. Okay. Our, our, our advanced team's been here. We've heard that there's over 190,000 people in this area that are chronically food insecure. There's mm. been six years of drought mm. here. So families told us they've totally run out of food. They've even eaten the seed that they had. So, so even if, if rain was to come sufficient to be able to farm, there's no way they could even plant because right. they've, they've eaten their seed to try and survive. And so this really is a, a crisis situation. Mm, it's, a, yes, it's a case of, being, of us having to respond immediately with, with emergency food bringing that in, being able to save lives, particularly of mm. young children. You know, mm. it's, it's the little children like mm. this that are the ones that are the most vulnerable. Isak, I think about that little guy right now and what his life might be like every day. I mean, we're talking about these kids um, starving to death because they don't have food. It rips me up because some of these things I've not heard, and I know that our viewers have probably not even heard some of these stories, some of the statistics, and truly the reality of life and death. I don't know where you're at in life today. I don't know what your circumstance might be today as you're watching this, but I can almost bet you that it might be just a little bit better than the lives of these precious people here in this village right now. If you are in a position to give to this outreach, I would respond. If God is laying it on your heart, then I would respond and do whatever you can do. Because I know that when we come together as God's family, I totally believe, and those aren't just words, but I believe when we come together, we can make an enormous impact. And I want to make an impact in the lives 
of every one of these children. Let's do it today. You know, Randy, I, I watched that and um, I'm right back in that, that village. I'm right back with those children, uh, with those families. Uh, one thing that I said, that your life might be a little bit better. Uh, when I hear that today, it's like our lives are a lot better. Our lives are so much better than what I experienced in that village, in other villages that I had the privilege of going into, and even some malnutrition clinics uh, where I stood over that baby that was literally dying, dying before my eyes. I could hardly take it. I, I remember I had to get up and I had to walk out and leave and I just, I just lost it because I, I thought that there's a way that I could help this baby. There's a way that we could help this child and so many thousands of other children right now today that are in those situations that are dying because of the lack of food. It was hard for me to be there and to see that knowing that that seems so simple. But was the solution simple? Is it possible that we could go in and we could rescue these children, we could save these children and, and bring them life through food, through mission feeding? And the answer is yes, but it's critical. And you saw that in that piece. It, they are in an emergency situation, Randy. They need help right now. They can't wait tomorrow. They need it now because they're dying right now. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it raises a question, why us? Why, why, why should we do anything about it? You need to understand something very important about Life Outreach International. And most, most of you know this, but maybe you're new to this program. We do this because God has given to us. When Jesus walked the earth, he literally fed people. Mm -hmm. It was a metaphor oftentimes for himself, whom he called the bread of of life. And if you look at the, the old word there, that word bread, it, it's the same word or the same connotation oftentimes as flesh. We understand that food is life. As Christians, we go not just to give food, but to give the bread of life. So the gospel is at the root of everything we do. Amen. Jesus said, don't, don't forget the poor. Paul and the apostles said, remember the poor. Yes. So if you are a believer, this is something, this is the, the, we're following the example of Christ mm -hmm. by feeding the poor. Mm -hmm. If you're not a Christian, by the way, we care very much about you. Mm -hmm. We've got a telephone number, in fact, where someone would love to pray with you. If you haven't put your faith in Christ, I would invite you to yes. do that right yes. now yes. because yes. without yes. spiritual nourishment, mm -hmm. we die. We're dead. We're spiritually dead. Christ didn't come to give us a bunch of new rules and make us good people. He came to give us life and life more abundantly. Yes. Out of that, we go and we give other people life, both the spiritual bread of Christ and the physical bread that you put in a bowl when you partner with us on mission feeding. Let me give you the quick breakdown just so you understand what this looks like. A gift today of $30 will help feed three children for the next three months. A gift of $50 will feed five children over the next three months. $100 will help feed 10 children. A $1,000 gift today will help feed 100 children. Some of you can do more than that. Why do we do it? Well, because we have to give them food. So literally, in this case, they don't die. They are on death's doorstep. We have the power to step in and intercept that. Then we continue with the program to get them in a place where they can better care for themselves. And we preach the gospel. We don't force it. It's a free gift that's given to all. It's a free choice made by all. But I'm telling you the power of Christ's example of him as the spiritual food and the physical food that we need in our bodies every day. It changes the situation. And Tammy, you've yes. seen the good side of this. Yeah. 
in places where we have mission feeding. Yes. And the countenances yes. change. It they is. laugh, they yes. learn. Yes. It's a whole different, we really can make a difference. We can, and, and you're right, Randy. I don't think we could do what we do and talk about it if we didn't feel hope ourselves, Absolutely. if we didn't know that there is a way and that there's a solution and that we've been there ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we know mm -hmm. we're not just talking about it, we are talking from experience. Mm -hmm. And Randy, you've seen that, you've been in the hard places as yeah. well. And I know that uh, this, is a, this is a hard piece for me to watch as well, but, but take a minute mm. and watch this. For 30 years, viewers of Life Today have been helping save millions of lives from malnutrition and starvation. Though you may never meet them in this life, people like Jose, Jacob, and Matthew are grateful that you chose to make mission feeding possible through your giving. But while there is cause for celebration, there are children we've still been unable to reach. Their tragedies caution us against growing complacent. Angelica was only five years old when they buried her here. They put a marker in the sand with her name and the dates. And if you look at the inscription here, you can see that it won't last that long. It will fade. Malnutrition is robbing children of their future. These children must not be forgotten. I can promise you, God knows them by name. Will you think about those that we can still save? There are so many that are right on that edge of life and death, and we make the difference. Let's not forget them. I'm asking you to do something right now. Support the Mission Feeding Outreach because that's how we stop this cycle of death. Because you really can make a difference. You can give these children hope and a future instead of an unmarked grave. Unfortunately, in those areas, the stark truth is that we can fill a bowl or they will fill that grave. Mm. And it's hard to see that. But we can come back and, and look at you and say, we have an opportunity. We can do something. Not only can we do something, we must mm -hmm. do something. And Tammy, I know you've been to many of these places. Um, there was one place uh, in Angola at a clinic where I prayed for a little girl who was mm. severely malnourished. Uh, and, and, and it was it was heartbreaking, but what was worse was I came back the next day and found out she had died that night before, after I had prayed, and and that's hard, because I mean I want to you know I want I want to pray and people get up and walk yes, away yes, and praise yes. God you know yes. we read that in the Bible I want to see that happen yes. again, and and you go why 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 does it have to be this way and I hear God saying I don't want it that way it's not supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. And you're the answer to that. Yes. You've seen things like this? I have, Randy. And, and I, I know I've, I've been in those places, too, where you ask those questions of God. You know, why aren't you changing this? And, and why can't this be fixed just like this? Mm -hmm. uh, but, but I've learned, even, Randy, on this trip, when I saw some really hard things, and I was talking to Jesus about that in the car and with some of the other people that we were in the car with, and, and I, just, I just said, H how do you talk to the Lord about this? And it, when you're trying to find those answers and maybe God is giving us an opportunity to step in in these places as these people are praying for miracles like I get to be a miracle like God can use me to make a difference so my faith grows in those those situations even when I'm asking even when I'm questioning God asking God for things I can see that he's stretching me in those moments of my own faith as I watch him do miracles and as he uses his people God's people are being used and so I think that's when we come together in a day like this and we're telling you about this need I'm reaching out to you to say, I need you. God's purse, right there. There's the army. It's coming together. We're coming together, and together we are going to make a difference. That's where God, to me, uses his people to form miracles that only can be done from the will of God and by his hand, but he will use his people to make that happen. Yeah, and really, <laughs> we're, we're not asking a whole lot. 
we're asking, you know, thirty, fifty, a hundred dollars feed three, five, ten children for the next three months, and it's only that economical because we have uh, the people in place, we have the systems in place, we can do this. I would also ask for people's prayers. Oh yes, I, yes. I, 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 you know, yes. Where, where your treasure is, your heart is also. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you join us financially, mm -hmm. and making a difference, but I, I want people to pray. Yes, Randy, and not yes. just that we get food to everybody. Yes, pray that, but also that that we. Share Share the gospel that people see. Yeah. Why did these Christians come from so far? Yes, and yes. we are, we're able to tell them and say, "There's so many other people that aren't here right now, mm -hmm. but they're here. Mm -hmm. They're here in their their prayers and in their finances, and they they put the food in the bowls." Yeah. Will you be one of those people today? And then don't stop there. Continue to pray. Pray for all the people in all of the areas that we're reaching. Go to the phone or go online right now. Make the best gift you can. Right now, across the continent of Africa, children are suffering, facing severe malnutrition and even death. Severe drought and famine, including in crisis areas like Ethiopia, means we must replenish food supplies immediately to keep feeding 350,000 children and help reach more people in desperate need. Through Life's Mission Feeding Outreach, your gift of love can be an answer to prayer for a hurting and hungry child in their time of need. Call now with your life-saving gift of $30, $50, or $100 to help feed and care for three, five, or ten children for three full months. With your gift of any amount, we'll send the blessing of taking communion. In this book, discover how the sacred ordinance of communion helps to feed your soul and remind you of the transformative power of receiving the Lord's Supper. With your gift of $100 or more, you may request the Life Legacy Journal this beautiful journal and pen will help you write your personal story and share the experiences that made you who you are. One day, the generations that follow will be able to look back and learn from the legacy you've left behind. Finally, with your gift of $1,000 or more to help feed and care for 100 children, be sure to request our inspiring bronze sculpture, A Cup of Water. This is the last day. Please call, write, or make your gift online. So I've spent the week in Africa listening to countless stories of desperation and great pain. My name is Tammy. What is your name? And what is the name of your baby? I know you have very little food, but I'm wondering if you can help me understand what it is that you're able to eat. Mm. I can see, I can see that your daughter is struggling. I can see that she is, hard to say that word. Hard to say, wasting away, it's hard to say that. But it's true. And it's, it's because she's malnourished and it's because she has no food. I can't even imagine the pain that you must carry with you as a mother. And I'm so sorry. My heart breaks. And I've been given a privilege to come here and spend time with these amazing people that work harder than anybody I know, struggle more than anybody I've seen, that are just asking for a little help. Would you help today? Would you help save a life? I watched so many children on this trip that looked like they were wasting away, that were dying. 
so many families that were desperate for food, that were desperate for a way out of this situation that they are in. Many of them have been in drought for six to eight years and they've lost everything. They've done everything right, but they've lost everything. And I would sit before them in these villages and listen to them and hold them and hug them and pray with them and cry with them and hope with them that tomorrow would be a different day, it would be a different story to tell. They would tell me what they needed. They weren't asking for a, a lot or a big old handout, just asking for a fighting chance. And I left there thinking, God, what could I do to help these people? Not down the road, but today, because this is a crisis. They're in dire need of food right now. They're out, they have nothing. I promised that I'd get on a plane and come home and I would tell you about everything I saw and everything I experienced and how real it was and how heartbreaking it was. But I would ask you if you would please consider helping us today, not tomorrow, but today. If you've helped before, I'm going to ask you to help again. This is critical. The need is now and it is an emergency. Their lives are at stake. Would you consider doing that today with us? Saving a life, not just one, but many today. Right now, across the continent of Africa, children are suffering, facing severe malnutrition and even death. Severe drought and famine, including in crisis areas like Ethiopia, means we must replenish food supplies immediately to keep feeding 350,000 children and help reach more people in desperate need. Through Life's Mission Feeding Outreach, your gift of love can be an answer to prayer for a hurting and hungry child in their time of need. Call now with your life-saving gift of 30, 50, or $100 to help feed and care for three, five, or 10 children for three full months. With your gift of any amount, we'll send the blessing of taking communion. In this book, discover how the sacred ordinance of communion helps to feed your soul and remind you of the transformative power of receiving the Lord's Supper. With your gift of $100 or more, you may request the Life Legacy Journal this beautiful journal and pen will help you write your personal story and share the experiences that made you who you are. One day, the generations that follow will be able to look back and learn from the legacy you've left behind. Finally, with your gift of $1,000 or more to help feed and care for 100 children, be sure to request our inspiring bronze sculpture, A Cup of Water. This is the last day. Please call, write, or make your gift online. come into this village because we've heard of how bad the situation is here and the only thing that they're eating is there's this wild sort of berry like fruit that they're getting off of the tree and then the only other thing is that they they're actually taking these worms drying them and then they're actually eating these worms that's that's all they have to eat I was just talking to the people and this lady responded the moment I stopped and and she started speaking that was the cry of her heart. Help me to honor my promise to this mother. That says, yes, we will return. We will help you. We will save lives. It's good to see you again. And? The mission team was able to fulfill their promise and return to the same village with emergency food supplies because of the support from the Friends of Life Outreach International. I know you remember me because we were here just maybe three weeks ago. Huh? 
And we made, I made you a promise that we were going to go away and we were going to see what we could do to be able to come back and help your community because there was no food here because of the drought. And so I'm really excited to be able to say the truck is here, the food is here, we are fulfilling on our promise, but not just today. We will continue to assist your community as much as we can going forward. But for today, we will do the first distribution. God bless. There are many more villages just like this one. The record drought has left countless children and their families without enough food and at risk of extreme malnutrition. Join the friends of life and be the answer to the cry of those in great need. This is the last day we're on the air in this campaign, but the need continues. What we're seeing now, especially in Ethiopia, we've seen before, the classic signs of malnutrition, the thinning hair, sometimes turning red, the flaky skin, the, the very obvious physical signs so many times, oftentimes are the pictures of the mothers who work so hard, of the mothers walking miles and miles for, for water or for some place that's got some food. But this is the smile of a child who is in the feeding program right now. A child who is healthy, who is learning, who is able to, to laugh and to play. And Tammy, I want to see so many smiles. Yes. There are so many that need yes. it desperately. And it is possible. Remember, this is the last day we're bringing this to you on the air. So please go online, make a call, and give the very best gift you possibly could give. Let's do this today. Let's make a difference. Let's save a life, not just one, but thousands of lives today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Life Today. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.